Welcome back to my channel and today I have a much needed brush declutter. I need to do this so bad. Um, okay, so let me just go ahead and get started. This um, organizer right here usually goes in the top drawer of my vanity or my desk where I get ready and normally it's just my clean brushes. I have a little bit of extra things in there now. It's not usually that cluttered but it has become very cluttered recently so that does need cleaned out. All of this stuff is just sponges and stuff I have stored elsewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and start over here. Um, yeah, let me just start with the sponges because they're the least exciting. I have these cosmetic wedges. I've had these for like over a year now thinking that I'm going to use them for something and I never reach for them. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. Um, I am going to keep these Real Techniques sponges. I like them. Um, I haven't had any problems with them. I know a lot of people complain that they've ripped and torn. The only place that I've only used one. This is the only one that I've used so far, but I've had it for a long time now. I like it. It's time for it to go. Um, the only place where I've had any issue with it is where my fingernail presses into it when I'm getting ready. So my beauty blender does that too if I get my fingernails in it. So I'm not complaining about that. Um, an Ulta sponge. I think this came in like a gift bag or something. And these cosmetic sponges. I think I'll keep this, get rid of the others, and then see if I use those. I like that these have like things that you could put in a compact. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna hold on to those things. Okay. These guys here, ooh, um, that goes over there. That goes over there. All right, these guys here are all my dirty brushes that I'm using right now, or that I had out for whatever, whether I was playing with them or actually using them. Um, sometimes I just play with stuff. Like this one, I was just trying out a blush and just grabbed this one. Um, I'll hold on to that Bare Minerals blush brush. This Wayne Goss 12, love this brush. Um, yeah, I use it for a bunch of different things on my face. Honestly, I can use it all over my face and be just per perfectly happy. Um, let's see, I got these Sedona lace brushes out to play with them to make sure that I still like them. It's the EB15 and EB09. This is supposed to be the MAC 217 dupe. It's not really, the shape is not a dupe. Um, it's close though and it's nice. This is good in its own right, but not a dupe. The good crease brush, um, EB15. I ordered both the Sedona Lace and the Sigma brushes last two years ago, maybe, maybe a little more than that. And I ended up sending all of my Sigma brushes back. I thought the Sedona Lace brushes were much better, just the eye brushes. Um, yeah, the face brushes I wasn't impressed with either one. Let's see. This is a Wayne Goss 18. Love this. This is pack. I use that to pack color on the lid. Um, Wayne Goss 05. Love this guy. Um, this is my generic eyebrow brush. Um, I put my powder brow on with that. A Real Techniques brush. I've been using this to. Um, I have a face treatment that is a powder so I use that to apply it. This is what I use for cream shadow. It's just a Sephora Pro brush. And then this guy, um, this is a crown brush that I really like and I really like it for traveling. It's the C476 but it's a double ended. I keep it usually in my travel stuff but I got it out to just see if I liked it. Okay, now I'm going to separate these guys out between face brushes eye brushes because this is overwhelming to me so hold tight and I'll be right back with that. Okay, let's start with these wonderful face brushes. Oh, I don't even know where to start. Okay, we'll grab these two out. These are both, well this one's from Sedona Lace. This one is some um, no name off brand. Um, no. Both of these are awful. They both shed really, really bad. Wouldn't recommend either one. This is Sedona Lace 376. Wouldn't recommend it. So, getting rid of that. 
these two tart brushes getting rid of those these are for the tart amazonian clay foundation i found that they use too much um product i do like them though they were very they gave a very very nice finish but i don't use that foundation anymore and they don't work with any of the products that i've been using in the last couple years so i'm gonna get rid of that let's see these guys here I used to love these. These were my these are the Sephora Airbrush Pro Airbrush Blush Brush. I used to love these for contour. Um I thought they were great. They were a lot better when I mainly used powder foundation, but now that I'm using a lot of liquid foundation, they're lifting up my product too much. Um so I think I'll keep uh, I don't know because I loved it so much and now I just don't like it. I, I much prefer the Wayne Goss brushes that I'm using. Um, so I think I'll keep one and let two go. How about that? Um, this is a Kat Von D brush. I got this from Influencer. I hate this brush. I didn't give it a good review. Still don't like this brush. It picks up too much product off my face. I don't feel like it does anything yeah, I just don't feel like it does anything for me. So getting rid of that. Let's see. Let's grab some of these Kabuki brushes. Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of all of these, I think. Um, yeah, I would much rather use the Wayne Goss brushes. These are too scratchy. They're also old. Um, so yeah, I'll get rid of all of those. However, I am going to keep these little guys because I like to throw those in my purse from time to time um, if I'm going somewhere. This is another Kabuki that I'm going to get rid of. It's from Bella Pierre. I have another one. I might run across it in here somewhere. But um, these are synthetic and they don't pick up the powder product very well. This I bought, and I haven't even tried it out yet. I bought this over Christmas, and I also that's also when I bought my Wayne Goss brushes. And ever since I started using those, I honestly haven't looked back. Um, but I will hold on to that for a little while. Maybe at least try it out. Eco Tools brush, hate this. Um, synthetic face brushes don't really do it for me. Uh, they pick up a lot of product. I don't know if if you're using synthetic face brushes and you haven't noticed. I'm sorry. <laughs> pointed out but they typically pick up so much product especially if you're using liquid foundation and even if you're using powder they don't do a good job of grabbing onto the powder so not really working for me this guy was one of, a part of that set I decluttered one of the brushes earlier I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one um, I just don't have a use for it it's a synthetic face brush odd shape I just haven't found a good use for it I'm gonna let it go um, this is a Sedona face brush that I actually like, a Sedona lace, this is FBO7. I do actually like this, um, I do occasionally use it to apply my liquid foundation. Oh, these were a disappointment, this is the Sephora airbrush powder. Um, there's another one in here, I'm getting rid of them both, and if you can look at them, you can see why. Look how nasty they are. Um, you cannot, I cannot get these to clean. Um, these came in a kit, so they're not, this is the Airbrush Precision Foundation. So they're not the ones that you buy single, but they are made very, very similar. I don't know, um, let me know if you guys have had any problems getting these clean. Because, I mean, they just, like, this one's, that looks like mold or something. I don't know. Like, why is it pink? And maybe I used a pink product with it, but that just looks gross. Um, I'm getting rid of those because I cannot get them clean. And I have tried, like, for a long time. I have that problem with this guy occasionally, but I love this. This is the Airbrush Concealer. I love this one, and it's not as bad as the others. As you can see, it's actually clean right now. So, um, yeah, I'm going to hold on to that one for now. Also, on the concealer brush note, I have this Kat Von D concealer brush. Now, I love this one. This is the brush brush number 40. Love this one. I also got this one from Influencer when I got the other one. This one's great. Totally recommend that one. This is another concealer brush. I do not like this brush as much, so I am going to go ahead and let it go. It's just a little too dense. Um, 
I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if you see me pull this one back out. I might play with it and see if I, I dislike it. So I'm actually going to put that in like a maybe area. I need to play with that one. Um, okay, stipple brushes. Elf small stipples. I really like for cream blush application. However, this 15 Duo Fiber blending brush from... Uh, just their stamped CB. It's too big to be practical for me, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I think I'm going to get rid of this um, e.l.f. small stipple brush. It's looking the most worn, um, and I don't need three of them. And they're really inexpensive to replace. So. Okay, I have these three guys here I actually like to take these to work and I use them to touch up like apply touch up powder to my face so I'm gonna hold on to those I used to love these real techniques brushes until I got my Wayne Goss brushes um, I love these to apply my under eye setting powder however I noticed that they had started picking up um, foundation off of my face when, when I really started using liquid foundation, I noticed that these were pulling off foundation off of or product off of my face. So I think I'm going to get rid of one of these. Hold on to the other two just because I did really love these and I could see myself finding a use for them again. Okay, these guys here, I just have zero use for. Um, yeah, no use. I have not found a use for those. Anything that really excites me. I feel like I have more of these somewhere. Um, hmm. Yeah, I only have this one and the one that's dirty. I feel like there's a miss one missing. But, um, yeah, I like this brush. I'm going to hold on to that because just like the other Real Techniques brushes, I used to absolutely love them and I just need to find, might find a new use for them. Okay, these guys, however, powder brush. I think I'm going to hold on to this one. Uh, I might hold on to that one as well. That's the blush brush. This is the Wayne Goss Zero Zero. Out of all of the brushes, this is probably my least, I would say least useful. I, I use it to put my under eye powder on, but I could live without that one. But I got that one in a lucky box. This one is Eco Tools. Yuck. No use for this. It was terrible. I think it was supposed to be, be meant for BB cream application. It was awful. Getting rid of that. This is awful. It came with a something. I'm getting rid of that. It's a little Laura Geller brush. However, I do like this, actually. This was cool. Um, this is Laura Geller. It's meant for highlighter. And yeah, you can use these little places to highlight your face. And I actually kind of like that brush. Another one of those, getting rid of. Um, Wayne Goss. Uh, which one is this? This is like the airbrush or something. Um, I like this brush. I found some good uses for it. I like using it for highlighter or even contour or both. Um, so I like that one. This came with my Smashbox contour kit. hate it. Getting rid of it. Another Wayne Goss brush. This is the 13. Love this brush too. This is one that I can use all over my face. Like, it's amazing. I can do everything with it. Love it. This is one, like I said, full flawless face from Bare Minerals. I take those to work and apply my powder. Um, tapered blush brush. Meh. Not a favorite, but I'll hold on to that. This guy I really like. I think it does a good job, but it's one that's hard to get clean, so... I don't know. I wish they made a better one. I'm going to hold on to this and try to clean it some more, but gosh, that drives me crazy that it's so hard to get clean. And this I'm going to keep just because it's different and I used to love it. It's a Sephora angled blush brush. It was really good for like if I ever did a cream contour or something like that. Um, I'm going to play with, I like holding on to this one because I think it's, it's just different. Let's see. All of these are from Schwa. They just come with the samples. I'm getting rid of those. Alright, on to my eye brushes. 
I didn't realize I had so many eye brushes. Okay, this whole kit right here is garbage. Um, I got this from Sephora. These brushes were terrible. If you see these, I think they still have them on clearance. They're awful. Actually, I might hold on to this guy um, just because I've been playing with gel eyeliner lately, but the rest of these are awful and they're going. Okay, so I have my eye brushes roughly separated out. Um, and I like to have like four to five sets of brushes at least. Um, I have, I like to keep one or two sets at home so that I can have dirty brushes, clean brushes. Then I like to have a set at work and I like to have a set that I keep just constantly packed in a travel bag. So I'll probably keep quite a bit of these, but yeah. So that was just sort of a heads up. Let's see. So I'm going to start with these guys. These are like what I use for blending, um, mostly this one's just straight blending like it it does terrible it won't pack pack on any color but it's nice to have around these are my mac 217s they're not going anywhere and these guys i actually do like so i'll probably put these in my travel kits and one in my work bag Let's see i did i tried to separate these i think these are all crease brushes um this is a synthetic crease brush i think it might nope only i have two of them i think yeah, I just have these two, but I do like to use these. These are good for cream shadows, or they're also good for the MOOF shadows. MOOF shadows go on really, really well with um, synthetic brushes. Let's see. This is actually a Wayne Goss um, 06. This should have went in the first stack with my MAC 217. So I'm going to put it there. More crease brushes. Let's see. Oh, no. This is like a double ended. I usually keep these with my travel stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put that. Um, I will go ahead and hold on to that. This Bare Minerals brush is crazy. I don't like it at all. It's very, very stiff. I don't know if you can see that crazy blunt top. I don't like it, so I'm getting rid of that. Uh, this guy is just too big. Man, it's big. It's almost just like a blending brush. I might put that in my travel stuff, though. Uh, MAC 221. I like this brush. This is newer to me. This Goss 19. That's good. Um, crease Shadow. This guy... I don't know. He's pretty good. All these are pretty good. Yeah, so I'm going to keep all of those crease brushes. They're all good. Um, these are all good too. This is good for a cream shadow, or like I said, the move shadows. And I use these to apply shadow all over the lid. So those are all good. Um, let's see. These are brushes that you would just oops, pack on color on the lid with. Yowza, there's too many here. Whoa. Let's see, I'm going to get rid of this Real Techniques one for sure. It is definitely not a favorite, so get rid of that. Man, and the rest of these I think I want to hold on to. Um, I have a nice variety. Let's see, all of this. these two are synthetic, synthetic, synthetic. Um, so I have these four that are synthetic. And then, there's a lot of those. Oh, this Japanese brush is synthetic. Um, these bare minerals are good if you want to do a wet shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are double-ended for travel. I might get rid of this little tiny guy here. I'll get rid of him. And then, this bare minerals hasn't even been opened yet. But that's okay. We'll play with it one day. So... I'm going to hold on to those. I like these Sephora brushes if you can't tell. I bought them all while they were on clearance. Alright. Um, these guys. Okay. Hate these from Real Techniques. Um, yeah. Won't use those for anything. I might hold on to one of those because every once in a while I might want to use it for a lip. Thing. Um, I'm going to hold on to one of these cat eye brushes. They're for cat eye eyeliner, but I don't see myself ever using that. Um, 
I'm gonna hold on to this eyeliner brush. It's cleaned though. This is a lip brush, and you just can't keep these clean. Um, yeah, they're gross. Sedona lace, like even if you clean the brush, it's like the inside of the tube is gross. So get rid of that, and I don't need all of these. Um, I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna get rid of this little teeny tiny eyeliner brush I guess is what that is yeah we'll get rid of that keep the other I'm gonna keep this one too and is that everything did I go through everything okay let me make my piles that say I'm keeping this getting rid of that and yeah I think I'm done <laughs> Okay, so this is everything all separated out. Um, I'm keeping all of this stuff. These are all the eye brushes I'm keeping, all of the sponges I'm keeping, and all of the face brushes I'm keeping. And up here is all the stuff I'm getting rid of. So I did really well on face brushes. Um, got rid of a few sponges and random things. And not so great on eye brushes, but um, that's okay. You know, I'm happy with getting rid of any eye brushes. Eye brushes are like my favorite thing so it's hard for me to get rid of them and if one sucks I tend to not hold on to it so yeah. Um, yeah so anyways that is all for today and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like and subscribe and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!